been warned. This is not your average carburetor swap Holley 750 double pump or three quarter race cam redneck hot rod, all right? This is a wolf in sheep's clothing. This right here, we got an LSA swap. And it's not only an LSA, it's a forged LSA with faster problems, heads, cam, ported blower, flex fuel, methanol, built tranny, Everything to basically cut a 1260 foot and nitrous. We made over a thousand wheel with nitrous. She makes about 760 on the blower, but we're gonna dyno it and find out what she does here today in 95 degree weather. is that they can have a completely different air fuel mixture on the street versus on the dyno. Um, the variable is boost and air temperature. So when you have a variable of boost and air temperature, the mass airflow will see something a little bit different and therefore it alters the air fuel mixture. If the boost is higher, uh, it can lower your fuel pressure rating if you're on a deadhead system. And 23. Right back. Still got a little bit more to do on the air fuel, but we will always check and test on the street to make sure everything is exactly the right way. So this is that GA shifter right there where you can kind of paddle shifter up and down. Not really a paddle shift, but it's kind of a up and down button so you can shift it. It's like wah, bah, bah. it's pretty sick. not upset with 750 750 those are pretty solid numbers the fourth gen Camaro is known for being able to launch pretty good it also is a very light chassis comparatively to the Cadillac CTSV or the ZL1 of which this drivetrain comes in native our faster prompt stage 4 package which is heads cam and all the supporting bolt-ons is typically good for right around that high nine second range at about 138 to 142 miles an hour depending on conditions and and weather and, and weight. So we're gonna go for a test drive on this thing. And this is one of the faster streetcars we've ever built. Um, it's very much like a CTSV with uh, all the power and all the goodies, uh, but it is so much lighter than a CTSV. So it's it's crazy fun and it's, uh, well, we'll take you all for a ride. And it's it's definitely a handful to ride. James has driven it a little bit before and uh, she's, uh, you know, like I said, she's a handful, but we're gonna have some fun with it. 
it, it kind of goes where she wants to go and we're just gonna see if we can kind of wrangle this bull. So we did a little something for efficiency. So whenever we spray it and we have our purge, you know, normally people have it so that they can kind of see it on the windshield or somewhere where you can kind of, you know, see how much you're purging and if it's clean and whatnot. But we're not really about that life. What we were wanting to do is basically use that coolness to cool our air charge. So we actually took our purge down in here and we have a bunch of holes going in here. And these are basically our heat exchanger. So our purge, we're, we're putting our, spraying our nitrous on our heat exchanger to kind of cool the air charge a little bit more. Just a small little thing that we can kind of do to make it a bit more efficient. So things do change a little bit dynamically, you know, from dyno test to street test. And so check the boost out. So we got, that was like right about 14 pounds in second at 6,000. And there's 5,800, 5,900. We gained a full pound and then it was about to gain another. So yeah, I think I need to add about 5% fuel. I think we'll be pretty good, but this car gains boost as we go and our air temperature really was pretty good. Uh, 127, oh, actually 143, 148, 151, and then it took, geez, that was only like 30 seconds to get back to 107, so not bad at all. inch tall tires what are these 275 60 15 pro 275 60 15 pro et street pros we spun the tires with 16 pounds at like 103 miles an hour on the uh three four shift it's freaking wicked yeah that's what torque does for you yeah 219 kpa so we picked up from uh so that's two and a half pounds over what we're doing at 60 miles an hour at 100 and 100 miles an hour, it's crazy. So definitely making more power on the street than we are on the dyno. It's just, the torque is king, absolutely monstrous. 